It's time to give the Fortec 2.0 a Doug score. Geronimo! First of all, let's get discuss some history. The Ford GT dates back when Henry Ford asked Enzo Ferrari if he can buy the company. And Enzo Ferrari said to Ford, Nah, hell no. <laughs> so what did Ford do? He decided to make a car that can whoop Ferrari's butt at the racetrack. That car, with an American engine and with a British chassis, the Ford GT40 destroyed Ferrari at Le Mans. Back to back to back to back. 1966, 1967, 1968, and 1969. In 2005, Ford Motor Company announced the full production of the Ford GT to commemorate Ferrari's humiliation, this time at the streets, not the track. The 2005 Ford GT is designed Identical to the 60s GT40, and it's equipped with a supercharged V8 which produced 550 horsepower, 500 pound feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, and a top speed of 205 miles an hour. 48 years after the Ford GT's 40 dominance, and 12 years after the 05 GT's production, Ford announced that they will be making a new Ford GT for 2017. The 2017 Ford GT is equipped with a twin turbocharged EcoBoost V6 which makes 647 horsepower, 550 pound feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, and a top speed of 216 miles an hour. With the sleek and aggressive design of the Ford GT, Traxxas cooperated with Ford to use the Ford GT body for the Fortec 2.0 chassis. The Traxxas Fortec 2.0 is an all-wheel drive streetcar which started production in early to mid-2017. The Fortec name isn't new though. The original Fortec was made somewhere in the late 1990s as a belt-driven all-wheel drive system, mid-motor transverse layout, and a transversely mounted battery holder. Then in the mid-2000s came the Nitro Fortec, which was also a belt-driven all-wheel drive system, but had a TRX 2.5 or also what's now the TRX 3.3 engine. After Traxxas ditched the Fortec name for a few years, they decided to bring the name back, but this time it, it became a shaft-driven all-wheel drive system with the drivetrain parts from the Traxxas slash 4x4 and other major revisions. It's basically an entirely new car with an existing name. Now it's time for the Doug score. Yeah! We'll be beginning the Celestial scoring with styling. There are many words for me to describe how amazing this car is, but I don't want to put them all in one video, so just to put it in simple terms, I'm giving it 25 points. Top speed for a brushed RTR is pretty good. The box did say that the car will hit 30 miles an hour. During my test, it actually hit 31. However, the top speed category is based on brushless standards, so it earns 10 points. Handling is pretty good, but it's not as good as a Formula 1 car, but it's fairly peppy and it gets up and go to the direction you want it to go, and it turns very well too. However, oversteer is a little bit of a concern, but Trax did tune out that oversteer from the factory and they added an active stability management system called TSM to help with cornering. It isn't great, but it isn't terrible. It's about average, so it earns 20 points. Acceleration is top notch. It gets up and goes where you want it to go because it's all wheel drive, so it earns 25 points. Add it all up and the Celestial score is 80 out of 100. That is the highest score on the Celestial chart. <laughs> this next scoring is called the Lunar Scoring. This will discuss about features and equipment, durability, quality, and so on and so forth. Now let's start off with durability. Durability is quite nice. But I really don't like destroying my beautiful Ford GT body, but it does have a few scratches and other things, but it does hold up well with a strong drivetrain system, so it earns a good 20 points. Features and equipment is quite high. Even though this car came out a year ago, it still offers a lot of choices. You can get it as a running chassis, brush or brushless, a Ford GT or a Mustang GT body for the brush systems. What really impressed me more was an extra set of body posts to accommodate the Mustang GT or any touring car body. However, the car kind of lags a little on something such as a battery and a charger, but it does earn a big, really good 23 points. Before I move on, let me tell you that the Mustang GT Fortec is actually cheaper than the Ford GT's Fortec. Now I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I just get the Fortec 2.0 with the Mustang body? Well, the answer is very simple. If I got the Mustang, yes I know, I like Mustangs, but I didn't want to risk killing any pedestrian traffic. 
Moving on. Quality is decent. Most of the plastic parts are the same material as any other Traxxas vehicle, such as my Slash and Rustler. I would give it 20 points, but Traxxas has put so much attention to detail, which honestly, they didn't really have to do it on the Ford GT body, but congrats to them. So quality gets a good 22 points. And finally, value. I bought this car with the Ford GT body for about $300. And I honestly didn't like the fact that I paid that much money and didn't have that much equipment such as like a battery nor a charger. Honestly, if I'm paying that much money, I kind of want the equipment I expect from the car. But, however, Traxxas did make it up by giving us a TQI transmitter for the Brush 4 GT and VXL editions. But I also had to buy a separate module to hook up my phone to the controller via Bluetooth. They did make up with that $300 price tag by giving me a cool body in TSM though. However, like I said, no battery nor charger, even at least a battery. I really don't think $300 is worth it though. Now before you say anything, uh, just hold on for a second because I had to eat my words here a little bit. Even though this car cost about $300, I'm not trying to say that don't buy this car. Because I know for a fact that anyone who buys a Fortech 2.0 regardless of what you get, they'll for sure have a smile on their face. It certainly made me smile, so I'll compromise and give it a 15. Add it all up, and the lunar score is 80 points. Once again, not bad. And finally, the total Doug score for the Traxxas Fortech 2.04 GT is 160 out of 200. Traxxas did an amazing job on this car. So much thought and attention to detail and fun they put onto this car. And it finally dethroned the Traxxas MXL6 Emax. Congratulations Traxxas, good job.